So here we are in Rocky Mountain Wild, another of my favorite areas of the zoo. We're gonna head up and see some grizzlies. We're gonna talk to keepers, Kelsey and Basha, and you're gonna get to meet my second favorite grizzly bear in the whole world. Let's go check it out. Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, so Edmund here is kind of our superstar. So Digger is definitely a favorite among a lot of people, but Digger's kind of like the bad boy in high school. Like he rides a motorcycle and cuts all his classes. And uh, Mr. Emmett here is our straight A student here. So um, he is definitely teacher's pet and loves to um, participate in all sorts of different training. So we're gonna show you guys some of the husbandry training that we do with Mr. Emmett. And that's just training that allows for us to take really good care of him. So you might've noticed that Kelsey just got a good old bear kiss from Mr. Emmett but as he opened his mouth right there you might notice Emmett a good way to tell him apart from Digger is he likes to show us his forehead there we go <laughs> um, is he is missing all four of his canines so Emmett is a repeat offender of not doing great dental hygiene and so we needed to get a closer look at that um, each time that he uh, broke down one of those canines so Emmett is actually trained to voluntarily accept a vaccine in his shoulder so Kelsey can show you that um, he'll actually line up and we can give him a good poke um, and that's how we were able to anesthetize him um, in order to get a good look at those teeth um, so we did have to have him be fast asleep so we could look inside his mouth but Emmett does a lot of different self-care uh, activities while he's awake. For example, one of the things we're going to do, we're going to try to do, um, is we're going to try to trim some of Emmett's nails. So another difference between Emmett and Digger is that Emmett doesn't really take care of his own nails. We trim his nails for him and Digger does a lot of digging. So he um, wears down those nails on his own. And now I said we're going to try, not because um, Emmett doesn't enjoy this. He actually thinks it's really fun, but just because his nails are super strong you can see we have these super heavy duty clippers here and I'm very weak <laughs> so we're gonna see how this goes um, but he does he's already showing us his paw um, so we're gonna cue uh, that we're gonna put this right up to one of those nails hey buddy I'm gonna touch right here okay all right and then we're gonna see if I can clip this off are you ready mm -hmm. okay clip Yeah, buddy. Oh! Okay, I couldn't get it. <laughs> we need someone else to try it. Um, but you can see it kind of hung out for that, um, which is really cool. We can also open up this blood draw port and do blood draw behaviors with Mr. Emmett, um, which is really fun. So he'll actually put his back foot right up to this port. He's going to stretch for you guys. Yeah, he says you got to get ready for that no, blood draw behavior. Can I see that butt? There we go. And then we can actually open this up and he will stick that back foot through this port so that we can voluntarily take blood from him. Now, whenever we actually take blood from Mr. Emmett, he gets some of his very favorite things, uh, which are like grape jelly and peanut butter, all of that really fun stuff he gets um, for allowing us to draw some blood. I'm gonna go ahead and touch. Are you ready? Yep, touch. All right, so we can actually squeeze right here. He even lets us shave some of his fur so that our vet team can find a vein uh, when they need to draw some blood from him, which is pretty cool. All right, buddy, good job. Can you take it back? So this, uh, space that Kelly introduced you guys to is actually one of the spaces that we do some pretty cool encounters. Um, so I know that we are going to have an awesome Rocky Mountain Wild experience for you guys uh, that you can check out. And this is probably one of the spaces you guys will get to check out if you come uh, to join us here in Rocky Mountain Wild and see some of our awesome animals. So um, you can come back here and kind of enjoy a little moment of peace and quiet with our bears, with the running waterfall, and just kind of admiring their beauty, which is really fun. 
So um, we definitely love this space a lot back here. Um, we sometimes will come eat lunch here and kind of hang out with the bears. Um, but this is one of my favorite spots here at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. And I just absolutely love this place. One of the reasons that I love Cheyenne Mountain Zoo is because we get an opportunity to share these awesome behind the scenes places with all of you. Uh, so we get to um, bring you guys back and let you see some of the things that are so amazing that we get to do every day. And I just love sharing that with everybody because I think it's truly incredible. And I love to see um, people's joy when they get to experience uh, these things that not many people get to experience on a daily basis, so. So obviously there's some very real magic here in Rocky Mountain Wild, and we want you to be a part of it. With tonight's incredible auction items, you will experience a once in a lifetime opportunity that you won't find anywhere else. You may have heard that the zoo has recently welcomed two very special new members of our zoo family. They're right here in Rocky Mountain Wild. Weeks ago, we got our new mountain lion kitten. And just last week, coming straight from Alaska, our new baby moose. Now, if you've been able to see either one of these adorable creatures, you'll know just how special they are. What might be even more special is the opportunity we have for you tonight. For Zoo Ball 2020, we are auctioning off the opportunity to name each of these species. Your name, as long as it fits within zoo guidelines, will be kept for as long as they stay at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. And we're super excited to watch these animals grow up with us, with our guests, into the big, beautiful Rocky Mountain wild animals that we all love. So bid! Bid on this incredible, amazing, once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Secure your place in history at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. At Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, we believe that every single one of us can make a difference for animals and the natural world. By joining us tonight, bidding on auction items, and donating, you are making a difference. By buying a membership or even just visiting the zoo, you're making a difference. Through our Quarters for Conservation program, 75 cents of every admission goes directly to supporting our conservation programs here at the zoo and around the world. In fact, this summer, we'll hit a fantastic milestone. $3 million raised for conservation, just 75 cents at a time. This program allows us to do incredible things for endangered species from breeding and releasing wild toads to translocating giraffes in Uganda to help save orangutans in Indonesia and Malaysia. Conservation is at the heart of everything we do. We believe that it's our job to help people fall in love with animals and the natural world knowing that each of us is capable of taking conservation action and making a difference, both here in Colorado and around the globe. We hope you'll join us tonight in supporting our critical conservation efforts. As you may know, Cheyenne Mountain Zoo is one of less than 10 accredited zoos in North America that operates without tax support of any kind. So your support is especially important and it's very much appreciated. Every revenue dollar in our budget comes from admissions, memberships, grants, and donations from friends like you here in Colorado Springs, around the country and around the world. So whether you're here to support the zoo, bid on some one-of-a-kind auction items, or just get your cute animal fix, we're so glad you're here. Tonight is all about raising money for a great cause. Every dollar that's raised by Zooball 2020 will go directly to our operating budget, which funds our critical work in conservation, education, and cutting edge animal care. Every dollar will make a difference for Cheyenne Mountain Zoo and for our animals here and around the globe. We hope you'll consider supporting us tonight at any level that's meaningful to you. All right, that's a wrap. Thank you so much from me and the whole development team at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. We're so glad you're here. Thank you for supporting the zoo. We know you've been in your pajamas the whole time, so now it's our turn. See you later. That's a wrap. Woo!